Hey, what's up YouTube and welcome back to Yo's TV. And before starting this video, I would like to say thank you guys for all the love, all the support you've been giving to this channel. I really, really appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. And today, guys, we are going to be opening up the Mystery Power Cube from Walmart. So the story about this, how I got this uh, Mystery Cube is... Last night I went to Walmart on a mission on getting something else and I saw this one box laying around. I know that a uh, few people opened up this uh, mystery cube uh, before and almost all of them did not get anything. So I'm hoping maybe I'm going to get lucky. And I know the brand that uh, that makes these cubes are a really not trusted source and they they i don't know it's just i heard many bad things about this uh mystery boxes as you can see it's made by mj holding company llc and uh, you see the pictures on this uh mystery power cube you see the shiny Noctowl, you see the birthday cake Pikachu, you see the shining Charizard. These cards are just insane. I wish I got one. And of course, you see the Southern Island Mew, which I own this card in Japanese. You see a Dark Charizard, you see a Zapdos, and of course, you cannot not put the, the Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise. You have to add that. And uh, yeah, the, what they say is this cube includes uh, includes 60 common cards and 3 foil cards or three f 2 foil cards plus EXGX special card. Yeah, a lot of people complained about the, this box that it didn't even come with 60 cards in it. Um, honestly, it's it's a pretty it's a pretty expensive box i mean it cost me uh, 20 dollars and uh for this money you could definitely get uh at least four booster packs or a couple of detective pikachu products or one detective pikachu product i mean you there's many things you could get instead of this and yeah who knows maybe i'm gonna get lucky and pull out a shining charizard or <laughs> any crazy card and we're definitely going to see that. Um, the box definitely looks cool. I'm not going to lie. The box looks really cool. And you could... Worst come scenario, you could use this box for your card collection. I mean... Better than throwing it out, right? So... Yeah. Um, basically... Seeing everything, what on this box and let's get to the part opening it i think for this thing i'm gonna need my knife this is not gonna be one of those long videos that i usually do i also got i don't know if you guys follow me on instagram i also got a. uh, uh Yesterday when I went to Walmart, besides buying this uh, cube, I also bought out all the Burning Shadow single pack blister packs. I heard there is a much better chance of getting the Hyper Rare Charizard. And uh, I kind of gave up on buying the booster boxes. I know it's I know money-wise it's better to get a booster box because you get 36 packs for like around close to $100, maybe $90. And... Uh, the blister packs are definitely going to come out more, but I think I'm going to try out with the blister. Um, yeah, right away opening up this box. There is a there is a blank sleeve, the plastic sleeve. That's weird. Maybe there's supposed to be a rare, uh, some kind of rare card in there that they're talking about. 1GX or EX. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's somewhere 
in these packs. So let's open up the first stack. First stack starts off with uh, electric energy, water energy, polywhirl, magmar, metapod, coughing, charmeleon, helioptile, yenma, seawaddle, crabby, totodile, finion, Fre freelish, Alomamola, Gliger, Litlio, Venonat, Carablast. So far, nothing. Basically, all just common and. I don't even see the. I don't even see uncommon. Yeah, and a couple of uncommon cards. Who knows? Maybe we're gonna pull out a Charizard. Steelix, Spiritling, Bella Sprout, Minior, Energy, Energy, Electric, Pergly, Manectric, Pikachu, Libri, Ursaring, Magneton, Wobuffin, Quilawa. I don't know, Rotom so far. I'm not seeing anything. Hopefully. Oh, we got a Mimikyu hologram. That's cool. That's a start, guys. Definitely a nice card. I don't know how much this card is worth, but we're going to put it aside. Mimikyu Hologram. I mean, not bad. Seeking, Goldeen, Swana, Squirtle. Is this the... Oh, this is even... This is like from the 1999. Wizards. That's cool. Arish, Inkei, Golurk, Bolte, Porygon. Persian, Eevee, Persian, and we got a reverse hollow relic can. Guys, do not buy this for $20. It is not worth it. The only card that we got is the Mimikyu hologram. This is the only rare card that we got from this from this mystery cube, which probably was supposed to be. I don't understand why they added this. I have no idea. Some videos on YouTube I see, I watch, uh, basically. Uh, I think uh, Leon Hart one from like uh, a year ago or something. He pulled out. It was like a hole, which was like all messed up in this. But it's weird how they put the put this empty here. So my review about this cube is: do not purchase it if you see it in Walmart or anywhere else, because you definitely could get better cards, better better packs for this price $20 for this is too much you're basically paying $20 for a bunch of common and a few uncommon cards and if you're lucky to get one hologram inside there which I did get lucky and yeah like comment subscribe if you enjoyed this video I really really appreciate it guys and uh, there's gonna be a a really crazy opening coming up really really soon so thank you guys and see you soon